Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Libra? Seven of Swords, Aquarius Energy at the Foundation. Libra, there's something going on in your stability, your foundation. This could be work-related for some of you. But there's an energy here of somebody or somebody's being exposed for something that they've done to you, energetically speaking. I'm picking up on something very deceptive. It's an energy of people throwing stones and then hiding their hand and smiling in your face. Whenever I see the Seven of Swords, because of the yellow here, it always connects me to the solar plexus. It's a message of energy harvesting. And with it at the root chakra, which is related to your foundation, these are individuals that play some sort of a role in your life. These are individuals who are a part of some sort of structure in your life. It's going to be different for all of you. For some of you, it's work-related. For some of you, it's romantic relationships. For some of you, it's friends. For some of you, it's family. But there's something deceptive that has come to light. You have been shown something by the divine. Something has been happening over and over and over repeatedly, but you just haven't been able to accept or believe that this was taking place. But something happens now. Some sort of exposure happens and you can't make up excuses for it any longer. What do we have at the sacral? Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpio energy at the sacral. The divine has been showing you, Libra, for quite some time that there was no growth that there was nothing left here. But for some reason, you just kept trying. It's an energy of really being stuck in the past or something like this, not accepting the truth is what I'm picking up here. But then something takes place and you're finally shown the truth. And I feel that a lot of you already know exactly what I'm talking about. It's an energy for some of you of individuals doing things behind the scenes to affect I just saw the ten of cups your happiness to affect you functioning inside this energy of purpose I'm going to keep going three of cups six of pentacles for some of you there are third party situations I'm picking up on here as well that's a message to the ones who are in these romantic relationships not wanting to accept the truth that quite possibly your partners are stepping out. Ten of Swords at the Solar Plexus. Gemini Energy. This is happening forcibly in your life, Libra, because the Divine needs you to close out these cycles. And it's the perfect time for it, Libra. It really is, because we're rounding out 2022 here. And I feel that the Divine really wants you to step into 2023 a new, refreshed, ready for a new cycle, ready to move on. You can't do this for another year. It's like you need to start preparing now. It's time to just have a new start in your life. Regain control over your life. Take the power back. This is a horrendous energy that I have on this table here. This is the energy of a karmic cycle repeating over and over and over. And with each go around, you're drained out a little more. I just saw in my mind's eye a coven of vampires feeding off of one person. It's that kind of energy just draining you of your life force, depleting you of everything, running out that life clock till you get to the point where you've just completely given up. What does it matter anyway? I'm too old now to do anything. I may as well stay here. Right? See, that's what they want you to say. That's the energy that they want 
to finalize you in. It's a weird choice of words, but that's what they wanted me to say. They know that once they get you to that space that you'll no longer be a threat. It's an energy here of just chipping away slowly, chipping away slowly at your self-confidence, taking little pieces of your soul with every go around that karmic cycle, paying the devil in increments with your soul, Libra. What do we have at the heart, please? Wow. Moon in reverse, Pisces energy at the heart. This is an energy of deception. It's an energy of your intuition being blocked. Very confused and unhappy with where you're at in your life. It's an energy of completely giving up. And this is also the energy of truth being revealed to you. For some of you, this is a dead-end job that just drains you of your life force. It's like you're expected to live your entire life around this particular job. It can also pertain to family members. Family members who expect you to live your life for them. They expect you to orbit around them. There's a lot of bitterness and resentment that I'm picking up in this spread as well with this moon in reverse at the heart. Blocked heart chakra energy. Very hateful kind of energy. See, that's how they want you to be. They know that when you're unhealed, it's harder to move on from these cycles. Because even if you physically move on, they still have an energetic tentacle that can reach you no matter where you are. That's an energy of being unhealed. When you're unhealed, you can't move into new cycles in your life. They know that once you forgive and release these old cycles and these old energetic signatures and you put a smile on your face, this is your key to stepping into the new timeline. And this is how they lose their grip over you. What do we have at the throat? Ace of Swords at the throat. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There is a victory here for you, Libra. Most definitely. Without a doubt. Some of you have already entered into this energy of victory and you're just looking back now on this energy. This, for those people, this is a review of what's happened. Some of you are just now starting out. Some of you are halfway through this. You're all going to be different. But for those of you that are just now starting out, this is your message of hope here. You will gain victory over this energy, but you need to step accordingly to do so. What do we have at the third eye? Ace of Wands at the third eye. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Wow. Two aces back to back. There's a lot of power here. There's a whole new beginning here. This is an energy of courage. This is you being initiated into this spiritual awareness of what's been taking place on the energetic plane here, Libra. I feel that you're about to be blessed with some sort of divine knowledge so you can see how this has been working in your life. See, inside the matrix... Your everyday life, you can't see what's taking place because it's energy manipulation. So you navigate your life in this very confused manner. You don't, you just don't feel normal. You feel like, what's it all for anyway, right? And see, that's exactly where they want you. They've got you right where they want you. But then this miracle takes place and the divine's able to connect with you, get these messages through to you like Libra. Libra, we've been trying to download these messages into your intuition for ages now but you've been around this demonic force and we just can't get through to you they're messing with your vibration they're keeping you in this energy of chaos disruption stealing your power you can't connect and then the message comes through and everything changes in that moment you can't you can't go back it's like your superpower has been given back to you you see so clearly now it's it's an epiphany is what it is. Light bulb moment. And I know exactly what this energy is because this is what happened to me. This is the energy here of a spiritual awakening. And we're constantly going through spiritual awakenings in our life. Ascensions. Always. They never stop. But this is a big one here, Libra. This is a ginormous one. Because the elevation that's attached to this is going to catapult you into a whole new timeline. You may as well be on another planet by the time this ascension has solidified itself inside your auric field. What do we have for the crown, please? What do we have for the crown for Libra, please? 
I knew I was going to see that judgment again. It just came out in the Leo reading as well. You're being called, Libra. Okay, like I said, they want you to clear this out before the end of the year. At least start making a plan. Start figuring this out. Don't drag this energy into another year. Start figuring it out. You're being called by the divine. These energies will not receive their karma until you step back into your power. Again, they just showed me that vision of the vampires sucking the life force out of one individual. Swarming. It's this kind of energy. But it's all happening in spirit, Libra. You're being used as energetic supply. However this shows up in your life. And like I said, most of you are going to know exactly what this is. Whatever comes to mind, the first thing that comes to mind, that's it. What do we have at the foundation, please, from the occult tarot? Let's see what demons are trying to keep my... Libra's root chakra blocked? I can only imagine. Seven of Swords. Wow. Right underneath that Seven of Swords. Stacked. This is you now catching these individuals. It's like they're being caught. You're breaking free from this energy. Right? There's a psychopathic energy I'm picking up here. It's like here they are in spirit, trying to stand in your way. That's how they're showing up. They're naked. They don't even know they're naked. They've just completely lost their mind. And it looks a little cold there, right? But we won't get into that right now. Just leave that right there. You're going to receive everything that you've lost back, Libra, in multiples, whatever that is for you. You were meant to run this cycle. It was all a part of your plan. Everything's happening in divine order. But you also have to make sure that you're making steps now in a divine manner. Stick to the plan, Libra. What do we have at the sacral, please? Knight of Swords, Hares. So, Libra, if you haven't watched my readings before, these next few cards I read as reversals. They're demon energies that work in your life. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Hares. Knight of Swords in reverse is an energy of deliberate cruelty. It's a very out-of-control, violent energy. It's also a very competitive energy. So that speaks to the people who are dealing with this in their work environment, in their career. This is a very impulsive, tactless energy. What do we have at the solar plexus, please, for Libra? Empress, Gremory, Libra, Taurus, Venusian energy. Empress in reverse energy is a really horrible kind of energy. Empress upright is one of the best cards in the tarot. It's all the queens in one. It's an energy of abundance and fertility and growth. But from this deck, like I said, I read this as a reversal. This is an energy of dependency. It's a very ugly energy. It's an energy of no growth. Being intuitively and creatively blocked. It's a very insecure energy. This is the energy that they wanted you to be in. Empress reverse. Insecure, no growth. Showing up as the worst version of yourself that possibly exists. See, every single version of ourself that you can possibly imagine most likely exists on another timeline. So... We go throughout our lives inside the matrix being influenced in a way to align with all the worst versions of ourself. It's your job inside the matrix to fight this and strive for the absolute best for yourself. Align with the best versions of yourself. It's an energy of timeline jumping, calibrating to the best version of yourself, aligning your consciousness to the absolute most high vibrational, most aligned, powerful version of yourself. Right underneath that Ten of Swords, which is speaking to me here, Libra, about you actually being able to achieve this once you leave whatever this is behind. It's an energy of them wanting you to be in this rock bottom energy. And the thing is about 
hitting the rock bottom, Libra, however this shows up for you. There's only one way to go. Directly up. You can't go any lower. So hitting rock bottom is an opportunity to rocket yourself to the top. Launch yourself off the bottom. It's like you're free falling in the ocean into the deepest depths, into complete darkness, into the abyss. And then when you hit the bottom, you wake back up, you come online, you launch yourself off of that rock bottom and shoot directly to the top. This is an amazing opportunity, Libra. Just know, Libra, that your lowest in whatever this is here is an opportunity to reach the very top. You know, Libra, what I've learned is no matter how difficult these cycles are that we run in our life, there's always hope. Always. Right? Like I just said, hitting rock bottom is an opportunity to launch yourself to the top. Hope can never be destroyed. Hope is the most powerful thing in the universe. You can birth anything into your existence with hope. It's the only thing we need. What do we have at the heart, please? Belleth, Knight of Cups, Wastrels, and Vagabonds. And this is them. It's a very jealous, overly emotional energy. Very temperamental. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. Energy of deliberate cruelty. Overly emotional. Who is that in your life, Libra? Somebody who always tells you that your expectations for yourself are unrealistic. But they know damn well that you have what it takes to achieve whatever it is you want to do. You trusted these individuals, I feel, for a lot of you. By proxy, you thought you could. This is why it's so difficult to accept these truths when we're shown them. But this time, you're going to believe it. When this clarity comes through to you, whatever it is. And then we have Page of Pentacles, Isalel, Loyalty. And now we step into the angel energies. This is an energy of manifestation. You seeking out this abundance now and actually finding it. Depending on yourself now with this clear vision and pushing forward. What do we have at the throat? Four of Wands, Mahasiya, Aries energy at the throat. God the Savior, rectification, helps one live in peace with everyone. This is an energy of celebrations. It's an energy of harmony. It's an energy of stability. New communities, new family, new friends, everything new. Look at that darkness we just navigated through. This is you on the other side now. A whole new timeline. What do we have at the third eye? Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy at the third eye. God, the good in himself, protection, prevents discovery of secret crimes, saves exiles. So this is the energy you're now moving in. It's an energy of confidence. It's an energy of courage, able to achieve everything because you've overcome this cycle in your life. What do we have for the crown? Five of swords, Aquarius energy at the crown to close out the reading. Ia hell, God, the highest being. Desire to know the acquisition of wisdom. So this is an energy here of you ending all of these cycles in your life. Letting go of any sort of resentment. Terminating any sort of connections you have with these individuals. Moving into this new cycle. Accepting the truth that's being shown to you around all these individuals in these cycles. And this is an energy of complete protection. Your spirit guides casting these demons out of your life. They're not able to affect you anymore. They're not able to touch you anymore. You go from the seven of swords to them stealing your power to the five of swords, being protected by the divine, engaged in your life in a way that you have never been engaged with it before. This is a whole new cycle opening up for you, Libra, and they want you to get on it now. Start making this happen now. Don't allow this energy to drizzle into your new year. 
You have a lot of opportunities waiting for you. It's about time you reach out and bring all this new energy into your life. So what are you going to do, Libra? What are you going to do? Libra, this is the energy that's available to you, depending on where you are on this timeline, should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you would like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Libra. Take care.